Here we are at the Mayweather Gym with Ishay Smith. How's it going, bro? Good, not bad, man. Just relaxing. You about to come in and work out today? Yeah. You, know, you always staying in the gym, huh? Yeah, I always stay in. I always try to come in two to three times a week, even if I don't have a fight coming up. Just keep everything, uh, keep everything sharp. Now, you recently came off that win over at the Hard Rock. Um, how, how do you feel about your performance? I felt it was good. I wish I could have uh, stopped them, but I hurt my hand in like the third or fourth round, so I wasn't able to do the necessary things I needed to do, but we got the devil, so that's always important. Man, Garcia's a tough guy. I think, he, matter of fact, he's fighting tonight or tomorrow, right? Yeah. He's fighting against a young one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I've been, been a fan of yours for a while, the contender. You're one of those real guys, you know, throwback mm -hmm. fighter. Um, how you feel that experience being on the contender kind of helped you out in your career? Um, just crazy exposure. Like I, I can never. Uh, it's the thank yous and the, it did so much for my career. And at the time I was young, so I didn't realize it. But and people still notice me from that show today. It's like it's crazy being in public and somebody going, "Oh, you're on the contenders." Like that show was like five years ago. You know, it was more than that. It was like six years ago. Yeah, it was a while. Two thousand five, right? Two thousand five, man. Yeah. So seven years ago that show was and still to get recognized tells you how big it was they should have brought it back i think so, you know, so uh, it was good i can never i'm grateful thankful that they uh, gave me my opportunity i think the first season was probably their best season oh, ever because they gave it a shot yeah, yeah best season because it was on nbc i mean no other season compared with it talent wise i didn't fall in under the other season but by far we had the most intriguing seasons of all the seasons we got you uh fonzo gomez sergio, sergio mora uh, Miguel, Espino, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so we had some, uh, I mean, we had people that fought for world championships on that show. And Sergio Moore went on. Peter to, Manfredo. Yeah, Peter Manfredo. Uh, I think Miguel Espino fought for world championship. Yeah. Uh, Sergio won a world championship. Alfonso Gomez fought for world championship. So, I mean, we had, a, we had some talent on that show. Yeah, yeah, talent on that show. Now, uh, you, you you went ahead and stayed on the money team, huh? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a blessing, man. Uh, Hard, you know, not fighting for 18 months and, you know, the ups and downs of the sports. And, you know, again, you know, I can never be more grateful for the opportunity that Floyd Mayweather Promotions and Leonard Ellaby gave me, man. It's, I can't say enough. I didn't even know if I was going to box anymore. It was just, I didn't get no fights. So for them to give me this opportunity, man, I will always be grateful and never go against the grain. I always represent the money team, man. And just thankful. Loyalty, man, is big. Now, now, that's funny you say that because that's what I was just going to speak on, man. You've been a real loyal dude um, through the turmoil between 50 and, and the money team. You, you kind of stayed on the side, but it made it, let it be known that your allegiance was to Floyd Mayweather and that you was loyal to him. Yeah, loyal, man. loyalty, man. It's like I don't have nothing against 50 cents. You know, I've I met him in passing a couple times in here, but, you know, some of the just the things that, you know, the things that have been said is just – you know, it's not it's not accurate. You know, Floyd is a good dude to to be around, to just not even to fill it yourself with. He's literally a good dude. Like he'll watch out for you and, and, and take care of you. Like if you need something, you can call him. If something happened and I needed something, I can call him right now and be like, like Floyd, you know, this happened. I can can you help me out? So he's just he's a he's a promoter that sees through the fighters' eyes. He knows what we go through. He's been a part of it. You know, he's been through the struggle. So. He, I mean, he is. He's a good dude, man. So it's kind of hard to sit back and watch somebody trash him like that and then watch some of the fans say some of the stuff that they say about him. But, you know, he always says it just comes with the territory. So we, I've learned just to, you know, to deal with it and let it go. So I don't address him um, the stupidity no more. Even in my own career, I just let him talk. I feel you. Now, um, talking about your career, um, you know, you was on Twitter for a little bit going at uh, Peter Quillen. You and him was going back and forth. Yeah, it's like... It's like this, man. It's like he he felt one way about a fight. I felt another way about the fight. And when you feel that way, you post the fight. Right. And I felt like he didn't want to fight, so I got off of it. And I felt like he just kept it going. He kept it going. He kept it going. And it's like, you know, if you're not going to fight, why don't you just shut up? Right. So I've moved on, man. I'm not even a middleweight no more. I'm a junior middleweight. I, I don't, don't even want to. This is where I'm campaigning at. It's like if you feel a certain way about it, and I feel the same way about it, and let's fight. If you don't, then shut up. And let's go our separate ways. And that, that's what I've done. And so at times, he may pop up and still be talking, but I'm not thinking about that dude. He won his championship. More power to him. You know, hopefully he'll be successful in the game. Yeah, for sure, man. That's true, that's true talk right there. Now, um, you were talking about your inactivity, you know, how you didn't fight for a little while. 
Um, you know, you look at fighters like B-Hop and how a lot of fighters are fighting later on in their career. You think in, in some ways that was kind of like a like a blessing for you? The problem, yeah, I think so because um, I wasn't taking punches during the, the, those times. I, I haven't never been knocked out, been knocked down. Uh, I've got a good chin, and like I said, I, I haven't taken a lot of punishment over the years. I still feel fresh. Um, yeah, as you get older, things aren't don't heal as fast. You know, you can tell the difference as when I was 24, 25 in the game, now that I'm 34. But far as like my body, my body still feels good. I still feel I can go six to seven more years. I, you know, I told my family, my kids, and everybody that you know, uh, 40 is the limit. But you know, who knows? I may be able to go past 40. But I think five to six more years in the game would be good enough. Man, you look fresh, man. You, you sound fresh. You you look at some of these boxers today, man. By the time they're 28, man, they kind of sound a punch drunk. Punch drunk, man. I, I think I went to an event um, a couple of days ago, and I could barely understand some of the fighters. And I was just like, man, I don't want to be like that. You know, I just, I'll never want to be like that. When this, when it's time to go, I'm out of here. This, this game ain't forgiven. You know, and when it's time to go, you gotta get out of, you gotta hang them up with this game and get the best of you. That's real. That's true. Now, um, you know, you, you're, a, you're a tough veteran, you know, contender. You know, you fought some big names. You also beat uh, Paul Wolak when he, when he was undefeated, and he was kind of like a boogeyman at the time, huh? Yeah, man, nobody wanted to fight him. Everybody was scared to fight him, and I went to a hostile territory. His backyard. Him, his backyard. On uh, the best, uh, the network, the best network that has been the great, great thing to my career, Showtime, man. It's, I can't say enough, enough of those people like all my, pretty much all my big fights have been shown on that network, and they've always um, stuck by me. And um, they always consider me if a fight falls out or if something's going on. And you know, I, I can never say enough about Gordon Hall and everybody over at Showtime. And Showtime has, has been great throughout my career since the, since the beginning. I started there. It's just it's been a, a happy relationship. With them. You hear him, Steven Espinosa? Put him on Showtime some more, man. He's showing y'all <laughs> some love, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, now uh, you say you want to look, you're looking at 40, you know, possibly another you know, six years. What yeah. you think about one or two times a fight a year? No, I want to fight as many as much as possible. You know, I fought twice this year, and I didn't start fight till uh, May. You know, I thought I fought the day before Floyd fought, and then I came back and fought in September. And uh, we almost was going to fight in December, but we put, I think we're going to work on something in the beginning of the year as much as possible. I mean, champions. Fight most champions now fight twice. Yeah. I mean Floyd this is a exception. Sometimes he'll fight once, but this year he's fighting twice. But most people try to fight at least three to four times. I want to be. I want to fight three to four times. For sure. Any, now anything lined up for you right now or in the works? Working on something, man. Working on something. Hopefully uh, January, February. Um, it's it's going to be big. So January, February. Yeah. Hopefully it gets done. You guys will see me tweeting about it and everything. Yeah, we'll be following. We'll be on the lookout. Now, uh, one last thing I want to touch on, and you kind of mentioned it, brought it to my attention, Floyd Mayweather, for sure, Cinco de, Cinco de Mayo on September 16th weekend, right? September 14th? Yeah, uh, September 14th, May 4th. Um, it's going to be big. You know, every card that he throws here is big. The money team is going to be in the building. All the fighters, the team is growing bigger. We get, we got good fighters, um, professional pros. we got prospects that's just starting out. We got amateurs that's just starting out, all the way to prospects. I mean, we got Jay Leon, Luke Cuba, we got me, we got... Uh, Jack Badu. Yeah, we got uh, Badu Jack training down here Badu. now. Uh, man, just, just a lot. Mickey Bay, that's what I was trying to think of. I mean, we got some fighters down here, man, and I think the team is going to be well. Yeah, man. We're going to do good, and I think definitely going to be in the building they, uh, in both both parts. There you go, man. Active. Now, well, one thing people don't know about, or some people do know about, on your off time when you're not training, when you're not full-time father, you also coach football, huh? Yeah, big time. I, I love it. You know, it, it, t it takes a lot out of you, man, because it's, it's hard to make every parent happy. You know, it's hard to appease everybody. And so sometimes it gets the best of me, but I love my boys, though. You know, I, they, I treat all of them like they're my sons, and, you know, I love it. And we didn't, you know, I couldn't be as dedicated to it as this year as I was in previous seasons. We wasn't as successful this year, but, um, you know, we still had a good season. But I love it, man. I love it. For it's sure. My second life, man. I got you. Now, who's, uh, who's your favorite football team? I like Oregon. I like Oregon. I follow um, pros. I really don't have a team. My favorite player is, like, Drew Brees. I got Drew Brees, Calvin Johnson. More I have Aaron Rodgers. 
But uh, when it comes to like college, I like Oregon. Uh, support UNLV, but they're just so terrible every single season. But yeah, Oregon's my big time college team. Oregon and Michigan. Gotcha. So in the pros, you just follow the players more follow than the teams. Players, yeah, man. Like CJ, like Calvin Johnson, like my favorite player, man. So, yeah. I love watching that. He'll, he'll play. beast. Beast. Nah. Anything you got to say to the fans? Anything you got to say to your people out there? Ishe? Oh, man, just thanks for the support. 12 years. We're working on 13 years this year coming up now. So thank you guys so much for supporting me for so long. I'll be back in the ring uh, quick, you know, as soon as possible. Hopefully, hopefully within the next three to four months. And uh, be listening. looking forward. Thank you guys. Follow me on Twitter, Ishe Sugar Shea on Facebook. Uh, Ishe Smith or Instagram, Ishe Sugar Shea. And make sure you follow True's Boxing Legs also. For sure, there he is. Ishe Smith, always been a true, always been down. Much love, brother. Thanks, man.